Hey everybody, it's Murphy Hunter, Gray Hunter here. I wanted to show you my Dollar Tree haul. So I just kind of have it all over my desk. So let's go over some of this. Okay, um, <clears throat> some of y'all may know that I homeschool my uh, seven-year-old. And uh, part of the curriculum we do, um, we're doing, of course we have history and uh, scripture study and hymn study. And so right now we are doing Genesis through ancient Egypt. So I was trying to find some stuff for her to do other than just the children's Bible, which is, we've already done the children's Bible maybe a couple of times. So I thought I'd just try to find some stories that were fun. And I found these at Dollar Tree. Of course, you know, everything there is a dollar. Um, and so these are, these are nice, even though they're kind of, you know, uh, they may look like they're young for her. But these are things that she can read on her own, and we can do this in class. So each one came with two, with two books. So these two, and then I got her this one, Samson and Delilah, and Adam and Eve. That's all that they had for those. And these were pretty cool because you know I'm doing hymn study, and I was trying. You know we've been watching videos, but I thought this was awesome. It's um, ten songs. It's ten stories and songs. Um, on a DVD. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, for a dollar, we love that. I'm sorry about the glare. So you can see what's on there. So that's a nice DVD. And then we got these. Now there are four of these. Build a Bible storybook. Good night, Good night baby. There are four of these. Um, and I got all of them except for the yellow one. Um, and it comes with a, with a CD. And these are all of the Bible songs. So see, you can see those. And we listen to it um, in the radio, on um, the car coming home, and it's really cute. And as you can see here, that it has um, where this, you know, it, it this also will help with the uh, scripture um, study that we're doing, because with scripture study, we just read different verses and. We can use something like this. Anyway, the books are just so colorful. And so I really like these. So I got three of these. And each of these start out with a different with a different part um, of the Bible. So I have to go back and look for the yellow one. Because there's only four. So I just I need to get that one. Um, okay, and then I got her a Bible uh, coloring and activity book. And I thought this would be something fun that we can do um, so she can color and um, we can do like little activities in here. So I was really happy to get that. Okay, then, um, you know, I am a, a uh, strong Erin Condren life planner gal. So I'm always on the lookout for stickers. I found this really cute watermelon posted so cute and look how cute these are these almost look like the to-do labels that I buy okay. they're all stickers I got two of those and then um, sorry I just got a mess I got these little cute um, Doc McStuffins stickers I love Doc McStuffins they're so cute I got one for Jay too, so that way, you know, she could have some. Although she didn't, she wasn't excited about them like I was. And then I got some rainbows, and it's cute because I also have some sun ones that I bought um, about a week or a week or two ago. So I got some rainbows, and then these are for school. You know, I always make sure we have tons of stickers for her work that she does. So we have tons and tons of stickers. Okay, and I bought these. Look how cute those are. I can't wait to use these in my uh, planner. And I'm glad that these aren't really thick because, you know, I can't stand to make it puffy. And so, now if you like those 3D stickers, they have so many of them. So if you're a scrapbooker and you like those 3D stickers, I use the 3D stickers on certain things. You know, like up here, if you can see up there on the, um, our homeschool is called a schoolhouse. So I'm, look, I have, I'm looking for a sign to put up there, but those... Those are all like 3D stickers. But anyway, um, 
they have them there like all different types like family and picnics and all kinds of cute stuff you got these they're just like little frames so you can put in your planner how cute those are um some more frames they have little flowers and stuff on them and then i got some more of these labels man i wish they had more of these because i mean there are uh 40 in here but i can use these for t my to do i have some to do ones that i bought on etsy um but um you know the course are smaller and they have more lines but i mean i can definitely just draw a line and draw on top if i need more than that but this is this is awesome i love that okay and these are really nice because these are sticker papers like a paper sticker sheet and um what i normally do for like my, my life planner i cut out the little squares or the whole length of certain parts of my uh life planner and just for decoration so i can measure this and stick through there um in fact let me show you what i'm talking about um, where is it okay like here this is a piece of scrapbook paper but i just you know double-sided tape on there and see here's my to-do stickers and see they have a lot so that these kind of look like that or wherever that one i just had this one here see so i'll just cut it to fit okay be careful baby so um I can use, I can cut some of that sticker paper and put here on the side to decorate. And let me see if I can find that other one. Okay, see like this one? This one was a um, a piece of an old planner. You know how you get the planners and they have like designs, flowers and stuff like that? Well, I just measured it and I cut it and used double-sided tape and put that on there. And just for decoration. So, you know, in the planner you have some pretty decorations but i use a lot of stickers and of course stickers that i buy from etsy like this one's from etsy the schoolhouse for our school um these are from etsy and the little grocery bags that i use this is for this coming week i haven't filled out this coming week i just kind of you know done some things this is what it looks like without decorating but i decorate each week so this is for this is for tomorrow and on so i'll come in here in a little bit and decor uh, after i'm done with this video i'll fill out the week this is another sticker from etsy the little grocery bag okay so let's put that away all right so i plan on doing those with these so i got like animal print and then i got this one i don't know what kind of print that is but it's you know cute and then here's some more more print it comes with like all these three like these three sheets it's a whole full sheet. I can get a lot out of those. And for a dollar, I love that. And they're already stickers, so that's awesome. Okay, and then we got some hair stuff. Jay got a lot of bows. I use these type of things um, for to close my planner up. This is the one that I use on my planner. So it keeps it closed. I'm not going to spend those $7 to buy a band. That's all it is, a headband. I got them for a dollar. And two for a dollar at that. Okay, and she got a headband more bow, like more bows super cute headband little hair ties and another bow my baby likes some bows don't she and i got me some hair ties and then she got some of these she likes to use these for um whoopsie y'all went on a ride she likes to use these for popsicle we make pickle pops so she likes to use we make the we use the leftover pickle juice to make pickle popsicles are so good she got these for the pool and she got some cotton balls because she got some nail polish remover and she picked up some nail polish. I normally I take her to get a mani and pedi, but she's gotten into where she likes painting her own nails. And so she picked all these out. And she picked this one out. Um, and then she got this so she can do her toes. <laughs> Oh, dang, I don't even have that stuff. And then she got some art supplies. And then she got these. 
like um, glitter glue sticks, a big one and a small one. And then we got some sight words. We go through these are 36. I usually make my own sight words, but these are front and back, and these are good for her. I mean, because what I do is um, she's doing um, of course she's already in she's doing second grade, so she knows all her first grade, and then she knows all her she's already you know right in the middle of all her second grade words and I throw in some third grade words but sometimes in between the hard ones I like to put easy ones in there so that way she doesn't feel like all oh, she's getting them is wrong you know you know what I'm saying like the whole psychology thing so I got her those and then I got these super cute um ready to read books for her because we love Olivia and these are good for her to read um we do um you know reading in class and of course we do literature and in literature I actually read a chapter book to her right now we're reading the secret garden and so I read a few chapters to her and you know to see how well she comprehends and then we talk about what I read but these are good for her to read to me and or she wants to go in her in her room and read or you know read in here in class so I have we have tons of books over there you can see the bookshelf is full of the top shelf is a lot of her um, reference books that we use for class, like a lot of her religion books and things like that. And then right there is her coloring books and her math things that we use, like the little math things that you use to do math with. I don't even know what the hell you call those little blocks. And then that shoe box is full of like flashcards and stuff. And um, this book, this row right here, and is all the books that we use for class. Um, and then those two are free reading books. So, um, I got another one. And then I picked up a lot. Of, I get a lot of these books, even though I have. If you look over there um, in that basket right there, that's my basket that I use for uh, for school. And it has my curriculum books in there. Um, I buy the complete curriculum book from Barnes & Noble and the Brain Quest from Target uh, for her grade. And it has everything in there. And so I don't have to print anything out. I don't have to look for anything. But anyway, when I find books like this, I get them because um, these are really good. I mean, for a dollar, come on. Um, these are great. You know, I like these type of things because they're colorful. And I don't have to use, you know, expensive ink. Buy expensive, you know, cartridges of ink or paper for a dollar. So we do, I got that one for spelling. Another for phonics, um, and then I got a Common Core standard for uh, language arts workbook. She loves to do language arts, um, and the curriculum book has a lot of great language arts stuff in there. That's one of her favorites, and so I got her that one, and then this one for subtraction. I have a multiplication and addition, like one like this that I bought a few weeks ago. But this is cute because I could just, I could just tell her, you know, you're going to do these two pages and then, you know, she's in control of what she's doing. She knows that she doesn't have pages and pages, you know, we'll do two. I can just say, do this and I'll check it, you know, independent working for her. Um, I got phonics and reading. Okay. And then I bought her these, um, the National Geographic um, kits. This is great because I used to subscribe to the magazine. It was so expensive. But these are a buck. And look how cute these are. Just enough information. And I love actual photographs, not drawings. I guess that's the photographer in me. I love actual photographs. And just too because this gives the your your child um, you know, a realistic picture of what this animal looks like. So I got that one, the book of animals. Book of Ocean Mammals, um, How Things Work. This is super cute. Um, I have some big science books like this. It tells you exactly how things work. But this is just so colorful. So she can see, you know, before and after. And how does popcorn pop? You know, like I have like those big Tell Me Why books. But they don't have like all these colored pictures in them. They have a bunch of them like this. I'm going to go back and get some more. And then uh, a book of planets. 
Then I got this um, Responsibilities. And this has a lot of, see all the pages that it has in there? And it came with stars. And we have more. This is like two, three sheets of stars. Now I have star more stars. So you can just check it off. But, you know, um, so that way she can, I can keep track of chores that she does around the house. And this is good because she likes to do dishes. And she likes, she has pets. And she can help take out trash. Well, she does help take trash out. Um, pick up her room and homework. I don't do homework because we have school and I don't, you know, when she's done with school, she's done with school. But I think what I'm going to change this out and I'm going to put reading, independent reading. So if she wants to say, if she wants to go to her room and read for like five minutes, I'll document it. You know, five, ten minutes, whatever. And then I bought this for the classroom. The, you know, school stuff like it's a giant apple and books and I think a crayon in there and I don't know where else, but that's really cute for, um, there's 10 things in here for a dollar. See, because I decorate the walls, you know, posters and, you know, that's my tea stand where I have my hot tea and my tea's there. And my school curriculum is right there. I have the Erin Condren school curriculum that sits there. I write the curriculum like tonight. I'll do the curriculum for tomorrow. I mean, for the rest of the week. And, um, because we have school Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. So I'll do the curriculum and then her library books and then her chalk because that dry eraser marker board on the other side is for chalk. Okay, um, and then we got, I got this for her art. It's um, stencils. I thought it's so cute. Look, look how cute. Kind of holds with one hand. Ugh. So I was showing her how to do stencils, how to put a piece of paper under there. And trace this so she can do stencils. Anyway, I just thought it was something fun for her. And then I picked up. Um, it says three in one activity pad. What is this three in one? Tracing paper, construction paper, and scribble paper. Oh yeah, I see that. Okay. I just saw it and picked it up because I, sometimes she wants to do like cards or just a small picture. And I got this because I thought this was perfect. But it's also tracing paper. And this is also, oh yeah, it's tracing paper. This is also a perfect fit for her stencils. And then I picked up some, um, you know, the writing tablets. Even though she really doesn't need this because we work in the workbooks. But we're studying poetry and I think this is really good for her to write her poetry. I don't know. She does, she writes in notebook paper. But for a dollar, I always like to keep some of this on hand. And we only have a little bit left. So I bought that. All right. Well, that's all that I got. I shouldn't say that's all. But that's... Oh, wait. I got two more things. I got this big old ginormous um, art pad. Because she likes to draw. Now, on that dry eraser marker board magicka thing... On the back, it's chalkboard, and this one's dry eraser. And then right there in the middle, you see how it has that butcher paper? Well, you pull the butcher paper through the top, and then it hangs over so she can draw. So I got that Ikea for $15, and then the, the pack of paper is like four something. But I went ahead and saw this and picked this up for a dollar because sometimes she likes to do paints. Like she likes to do painting and stuff. And um, she drew me this. She painted this sunflower for me. Isn't that pretty? I love sunflowers. So anyway, um, I got all that. And they were out of bags at the dollar store. So um, I got this basket. And I used the basket to keep all my things in. I initially picked up two bags there at the dollar store. But then when I started putting things in the basket, I realized that it wasn't going to fit in the bags that I got. Whoopsie, I'm dropping stuff. I got these two bags. I got this aqua one and this purple one but we can use these when we go to the library um we have a library once every two weeks and this is good for the books or we go to the pool when i'm taking my books or whatever i'm sure i'll find some use for them all right so i hope y'all enjoyed this dollar tree haul because i know i sure had a great time buying it all right bye